Hi, good morning, everyone. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he shine his face upon you, lift up his countenance to you and bring you his peace. The Lord is so good. He is kind, slow to anger, rich in love. Our God is an awesome God and we praise him. And so I was listening to this beautiful Bible teaching by Dr. Timothy Keller and he was talking about Job and how Job, um, he understood that God is God and that trials come to everyone, young, old, rich, poor, you know, uh, maybe married with tons of kids, single, never had kids, whomever you are, wherever you are, whatever climate, whatever life or lifestyle, you're going to go through trials. And so there's so much to be learned from the book of Job, but I really love the way Dr. Timothy Keller breaks it down. And I've heard him share this little nugget before, but it worth, it's worth repeating. He says that when we minister to others going through deep trials, we've got to be careful that we mix truth with tears. Truth with tears. So what does that mean? Well, if you tell someone... Uh, that has just lost a loved one. Well, you know, everybody dies. That is true. But even in the way I said it, there's no empathy there. There's no compassion there. And so if we just only give tears without hope, we're not giving them the full dosage of comfort that Jesus gives. And something that Dr. Timothy Keller said that I never really, it, it never really hit me like it did today is that when Jesus groaned when Lazarus died he wasn't so much groaning because I don't know how to word it properly basically that he was groaning over the reality of death and so one day I was kind of in a little bit of a bad mood I was quiet I was just struggling with something and my daughter asked me very you know, she noticed that something was wrong with mom. Mom, what's wrong? I said, I'm upset. And she said, who are you upset with? And I, I paused and I really thought about it. And I said, I'm upset at sin. And I meant it because I was working on some paperwork for a client of mine who was going through a divorce. And so I think that our frustrations when we're upset over a trial or, or over pain or in suffering or, or a loss shouldn't be directed at God because the Lord is our comforter. He's our shield. He's our good shepherd. He loves us. He died so we wouldn't have to, you know, so death wouldn't have a permanent sting. Yes, we die and all of us will die. Uh, and death is painful, of course, but Jesus took that pain upon himself. And so we should be upset at sin. We should be upset when others are hurting, but in a rightful way, we want to place the blame not on God, but on the suffering itself and say, Lord, you are our comfort. And we got to say, like Job, naked I came from the womb, naked I'll return. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And so, you know, I don't know if you're like me and you know people surrounded you surrounding you who are going through heavy duty trials. I certainly do. Our sister in Christ, Raylene, she's still struggling with this blood hemorrhaging thing. We're going to pray for her. I know people that have cancer. Uh, my friend's daughter, she's going to have an MRI this Friday for joint pain. And she's just a little girl. She has this unusual arthritis thing. There's just so many different people, so many different challenges, so many different uh, elements of pain. But may we offer up to others truth there is a savior there is a healer there is a redeemer and that's jesus and also tears that we would give our tears of love to remind people that we might not have the words of comfort sometimes like my girlfriend said the other day sometimes words feel inappropriate i loved that when someone's really they just lost someone sometimes words are inappropriate let's just offer a hug and tears and then when time comes give them that truth of the gospel amen so heavenly father i just want to thank you for this beautiful day i thank you for that awesome bible teaching through job that you had me listen to from tim keller it really encouraged my soul as i see people going through trials and tragedies 
And yet, we know, Lord, that you are a good God, slow to anger, rich in love. You are faithful. You are kind. You love us so much. You don't leave us floundering like a fish without a water in our pain and in our sin and in our shame and in our grief. You, you give us comfort. You give us peace. You give us hope. You are such a good God. We love you, Lord. We need you, Lord. We need you in these last days. We know we're living in the last days. Help us to be bold, Father. Help us to be wise as serpents and but gentle as doves, Lord. Thank you for this beautiful um, women's group in the study of the prophet Elijah's life through 1 Kings. It's been so rich and rewarding and encouraging that Elijah could experience tr tremendous amazing miracles and be used mightily by you and then a heartbeat later be depressed and say god just take me out i'm just so low and we go through that lord our emotions the highs and lows of life the testings of life so i just pray father that you would help us to learn from genesis to revelation all the scriptures all of the examples in the bible and even real life examples i think of someone like johnny erickson tata college bound beautiful athletic young woman and just in one moment um, she became a paraplegic but yet you've used her all over this globe all over this nation and even the world to impact others and to bring awareness that those with disabilities have value i thank you for her life god father forgive us of all of our sins for there are many forgive us of stubbornness of pride of our sinful habits lord of the patterns of our behaviors that don't bring you glory forgive us god we want to bring you glory we want to bring you honor we want to worship you in spirit and in truth we want to live a life that's pleasing to you god every single day jesus in our tasks big and small forgive us forgive us of our flesh forgive us of what what chuck and i call brain worms of those things that we think about we perseverate we have ocd over over and over and over again mulling over things of our mind instead of taking our thoughts captive and laying them at the foot of the cross forgive us of allowing those worms to be implanted in our brain and then we just think and think and think instead of praying and praising and acting in a way that's pleasing to you oh god father i want to pray for the marriages represented here lord as i read a beautiful devotion yesterday about marriage and how we can choose to love our spouse and seek opportunities to bless them father help me to be a blessing as a wife help all the wives represented here to be a blessing help the husbands to be edifying and uplifting and to be uh, to love their wives as, as it says in ephesians god i pray for the marriages that they would be strong in you i want to pray for scarlet my friend's daughter will be having an mri I pray that that procedure would go smoothly as there's still a, a delay on the insurance and whether or not it's approved and whether or not it's going to go through. Oh, Lord, I just lay all that at your, at your feet, God. Please, please, my Lord, my God. May everything go smoothly and may you allow this MRI to reveal whatever needs to be revealed to the doctors, Lord. I pray for a healing over her. I pray for a healing over Heather Rios, over Lance my lord my god over micah fernando janine yamamoto and janine i also pray for um, those that are grieving and mourning a loss i think of this beautiful woman kelly grace kelly grace sutter as she lost her husband william and then her son dominic in such a short window oh god comfort her give her your peace give her your joy put people in her path that will just remind her of your love put people on her path that will pray for her that will cry with her that will hug her that will watch her special needs autistic son Jax, so she could have a moment to go get a pedicure or whatever lord just please please surround kelly grace with peace surround kelly grace with joy surround kelly grace with scriptures lord hug her lord with the holiness of your word may your word truly become that lap unto her feet and light unto her path my lord please jesus please lord hear our prayers for this woman that has this devastating blow lord i pray for all of those um widows and orphans and those grieving the loss of a loved one god that they would grieve in a holy way that they would grieve upward that they would remember lord that though sorrow comes for a night joy comes in the morning and that you said peace i leave with you my peace i give to you not as the world gives do i give it unto you lord 
you would please, my Lord, my God, pour out your peace and comfort to those that are dreading the holidays, those that are weeping and hurting inside. Sometimes they weep outside, but you know what I'm trying to say, Lord, those that are really grieving, missing a loved one, missing a spouse, missing a child, missing a sister, uh, a, a family member. I think of Jessica Kruger, Lord, my beautiful friend. I pray you would comfort her and Henry and Holt, Father, and just all of those that are navigating the firsts. I think of Angelina as she'll be having her first, um, the one year anniversary of Vince's homecoming in one month at the end of November, Lord. Comfort Angelina, give her peace, give her joy, help her to just hug her kiddos and to journal and write out her thoughts, her prayers, Lord. Be with her, I don't even know what to say. I just can't even imagine, Lord, that help her to have a moment where she could just reflect and think, man, God brought me through this year. I don't know how, but he did it. He did it, Lord. And we give you praise. We give you honor and glory because even though we weep now, one day we will be in your presence where there's fullness of joy. We will be reunited with our loved ones, Father. I thank you for the awesome, awesome work you're doing through my brother, Anthony. Bless him and keep him. Shine your face upon him. Give him wisdom of what to do with work lord as he's um not sure and i just pray you would show him you would guide him you would direct him you would continue to bless all of the men at calvary chapel pomona valley as they study james and as they um go to church and read their word and um pray and get together with other brothers and sisters that you would bless the men of calvary chapel pomona valley bless all the men Father, and in all the local churches around here, Lord, Chino Hills, Chino Rancho, Upland, Ontario, Covina, San Dimas, Azusa, uh, Fontana, Lord, bless all these men that love you. Bless the men in our lives, wherever they are, wherever they're located, the uncles, the theos, the grandparents, the um, husbands, Lord, the sons, Lord, bless the sons that are represented here, Lord, be with my son Isaac as he goes to school, help him to have good behaviors, Lord, bless all the sons represented here, be with Brennan as he's a correctional officer in the Lancaster area jail, be with them, protect him from evil, be with Cameron, protect him from evil, God, be with all those Israeli fighters, Lord, fighting against terror, protect them, Jesus, I pray for revival in the Jewish community. I pray for revival in the Muslim community. The Palestinians save their souls. They need you, Jesus. I pray for all the daughters represented here. I thank you for my beautiful daughter, Olivia. Grant her safe travels as she's coming home today, Lord. I pray for all the daughters, Father, that once I know you, that they would continue on serving you, praying to you, talking to you, worshiping you in spirit and in truth, reading the word faithfully God give us daughters that are faithful that they would serve you and seek your kingdom first every single day and for the um, the women the young women that don't know you Lord those that are addicted to terrible relationships those that have identity problems transgender homosexuality um, the, the young women that are torn between um, the world, the carnality, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life. Would you break down those barriers? Would you help us moms and grandmas to love on them, to love, love on those women that are struggling with trials and, and um, idolatry and the flesh, Lord. I pray for these young ladies. You know them by name. Touch them, minister to them, help them, God, to say no to the flesh and yes to walking in the spirit. Lord, we know what your scripture says. If you sow to the spirit, you're going to reap to the spirit. But if you sow to the flesh, you're going to reap. And we don't want to see the daughters and sons that we know and love reap uh, consequences for their sins, Lord. So please just reach down from heaven, open their eyes from darkness to light, from lies to truth. But for those that are doing good, like my daughter Olivia, like so many other precious young women and older women they're they're serving you they love you i pray that they would continue on that you would strengthen them in the areas where they're weak they would turn to you to be their strength father i want to pray for lauren and she's been having these behaviors lord and um her one to one aid is not working out and there's just so many trials my friend tina's daughter lauren i pray for lauren and i pray for all of those in the special needs community i pray for this little boy jacks that through this pain that his mama's going through, Kelly Grace, that Jax would have more breakthroughs, that you would just unbound him, unwind him from these autism 
tendencies and that his mom would say, wow, look at my son. You're doing so many amazing things in him and through him and that he would just show her a measure of grace. I thank you for the victories that have been coming, Lord. I thank you for um, my precious friend, Laura Ramirez. She just got engaged. Would you bless her and be with her as she's engaged? And I just pray, God, that she and her and Ben would just have a beautiful, fruitful engagement and that when they get married and the two become one, that you would help them. They're a blended family. It's a very complex family. Also, they have a child with autism. That you would help this couple to just continue to be dependent on you. All of us. Help all of us to be 110% dependent on you. Not in ourselves, Not in our own gifts. Not in our own strength. But dependent on you, God. I pray for Audrey for a healing touch from you, Abba, over her body, Lord. I pray for all of those that are sick. Maybe they've been hiding it. Maybe they don't even like to talk about it. I pray that you would heal them in their ailments, migraines. Maybe they have a substance abuse problem. They've never shared it with anyone. Maybe they um, are struggling with an unmet need. And just be there and hear these silent prayers, these silent cries. Sometimes we're too shy to pray. Sometimes we're too prideful to pray. Whatever it might be, hear these silent cries from your children, from our hearts, Lord. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem, Lord. Please stomp on these terrorists. And I just pray for, for miracles, Lord, that you would put a dome of protection around those hostages, put a dome of protection around those um, innocent people, Lord. I pray for the rebuild of the lives, God, and that they would just come to a saving knowledge of you, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, the Messiah you are, Lord. Thank you for being our Redeemer. Thank you for being our Healer. Thank you for being our Savior, our Lord, our King, our Master. The Lord is our righteousness, I just read this morning in Jeremiah, and it's so true. In us, there's nothing good, but in you, there's everything good. So thank you for being our righteous God, our righteous King, our Savior, our Lord, our Healer, our Master. Our provider, God, provide for us, Lord. Spiritual, emotional, financial, physical, mental, all of our needs are met in you. You are Jehovah Jireh. Thank you. Thank you for providing for us, God. Be with me as I'm about to have lunch with an old, beautiful friend, friend that I haven't met with in a while, and I love her dearly. Would you bless this fellowship and guide my conversation that it would be of you and not of me, Lord. I pray you would give us eyes to see, ears to hear, and a heart that's quick to obey, Lord. Help us not to fight you. Help us not to kick against the goats. Help us to be totally and wholly surrendered and submitted to you. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. Help us to really say it and mean it, Lord. Be with my beautiful friend, Jeanette Thrasher, and her health. I pray for her family. I pray for Calvin. Repentance, that he would come back to you. I pray for Annie. Repentance, that she would come back to you. All the prodigals, Lord. Adil, Adam, Petey, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Those that once walked with you and they're now they're not walking with you anymore. Those that believe in this woke, you know, academic, I'm too smart for God belief system. Break off that stronghold off of them. Break off the strongholds of addiction, of drugs, of relationships that are demonic and evil. And I pray for the youth, Lord, for the children. I see them when I drive by the schools. I'm running my errands. Little boys, little girls, older kids, high school kids, college aged. I pray for them. Please, Lord, may they open up their Bibles and read your word and realize that Jesus is God. That is my prayer, Lord. Open up their eyes. And I pray for all of those in college that they would truly see that you are God and they would not allow knowledge to be their God, but that you, Jesus, would be their God. You are a sweet, sweet, sweet Savior and Lord. There is none like you. There is none, no one else for me, none but Jesus. Crucified to set me free, now I live to give you praise. May we praise you when it's hard. May we praise you when it's sweet and the sun is shining and days are good. We praise you no matter what happens in this life. You can have all this world, but just give me Jesus. We love you and we worship you. And again, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We pray for all the pastors and teachers and leaders that you would help them to be bold in their preaching. And we just need you, Lord. Be with my friends court hearing this Friday. I pray for justice. I pray for favor. I pray for financial um, support. That you would not allow the enemy to take any ounce, any penny, any nickel away from my friend but that everything would go smoothly and for your glory. Come and get your glory through this circumstance, God, through this situation. 
to this court date, Lord. Thank you for hearing our prayers. Thank you that you bend down and listen. And we, we just love you. And we confess and admit that apart from you, we can do nothing. But with you, Lord, we know that we have all that we need and more. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen.